Ever look at somebody and think how they have the same sly eyes of a crocodile or the jumpy movements of a squirrel? People display animalistic features all the time, and now we're going to look at animals with similar human tendencies. Join us on a genetic safari as we tour the world for creatures that are evolving into humans. Obviously, we're not evolving into the same exact species, but as our physical surroundings change over the next several million years, perhaps we'll mutate along the same genetic lines and develop shared traits to survive in the future. Eventually, these creatures may not be too different from the future versions of the people you know and love. Sure, we'll see the usual ape-like entries, but you'll be surprised to find some other mammals and birds with surprisingly human characteristics as well. Join the hub on this fantastic voyage. We are very excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from The Richest, Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with ad-free browsing. Check out The Premium by clicking this link. Sign up for free and start binge watching videos from your favorite channels. And hit the subscribe button to keep tabs on the other genetic and scientific secrets hiding in plain sight. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzees, along with bonobos, are incredibly similar to humans, even more so than most other ape species. This is mostly because we share a common ancestor with chimps from around 6 million years ago. On the grand scale of evolution, that genetic divergence was pretty recent. Unlike many other animals, both humans and chimps can see the color red. This, along with other similarities, is thanks to the fact that our DNA is a 98.8% match. Chimpanzees can feel the pain of similar illnesses, making them as susceptible to AIDS and hepatitis as humans, although chimps cannot contract other diseases like malaria. Their mentality is what makes them special, and they're able to react to situations in a human-like way. They can learn to use tools to achieve successful results, they can remember specific images, and they can even make each other laugh. Not only that, experiments with chimp social groups at the University of Portsmouth reveal that no matter their age, chimpanzees would even fake a laugh at their monkey counterparts to keep their games going and make their fellow chimpanzees feel comfortable. In each of the 500 tests recorded, chimps exhibited fake courtesy laughs that allowed their playtimes to last longer. It's this kind of politeness that humans do all the time in social situations when your boss tells a bad joke and you laugh just so you can keep your job. Sloth like some relatives we know, sloths can spend most of their day lounging around, sleeping 15 to 20 hours in many cases. Unfortunately for sloths, they don't have Sunday night football or PlayStation multiplayers to keep them entertained, but they still manage to sit without issue. Living in the trees, they get so mucky and dirty they actually have a small ecosystem of life-giving algae on their furry backs. This greenery provides food for smaller creatures in the rainforest as well as a type of camouflage during particularly rainy months. This lush greenery is a kind of farming, and while not as carefully planned as humans' agriculture, it sustains the sloth's livelihood. Their slow-moving 6 cm per second speeds also help out, allowing them to pass by unnoticed by many a predatory harpy eagle. In fact, everything about sloths are slow, and although they could certainly use a caffeine boost every now and then, their once-per-week bathroom breaks allow them to reproduce. Like a round of speed dating, sloths descend to the bottoms of their trees, and if they happen to meet while dropping a number 2, then they've hit the gold mine. It's not the ideal Tinder date, but even sloths can keep small talk going while in the most unique locations. Tamarin Tamarins are notable because like other traditional families, they spend their dinners together. Communal eating is unique in the animal kingdom, but we share this characteristic with these small, wispy-headed primates. Another trait that's special among tamarins is their ability to gossip. Newly discovered amongst the tamarin population at the Central Park Zoo in New York City, tamarins have been found to whisper quietly to each other while around humans the tamarin community doesn't like. They already have a wide variety of chirps, barks, and ooh-ooh-ah-ah to represent different feelings, so this newfound form of communication deepens their already diverse way of talking to each other. When a danger approaches a tamarin community, like a predator or a zookeeper who they have a problem with, the tamarins create a mob, making lunges, flicking their tongues, and gesturing angrily. But when a particular Central Park Zoo specialist approached them, they started out their typical mob behaviors and then started to cautiously approach their nemesis, whispering so quietly it wasn't noticeable at first. Like two or more humans around an unwanted ear, they speak in hushed tones so they aren't overheard. Flamingo As the saying goes, you are what you eat, and flamingos are no exception to the rule. Their famous pink color comes from the crustaceans they eat in their swampy marshland habitats. 
If they don't consume enough beta carotene, their plumage will turn a bland white. But the colors are important. In fact, their whole physical makeup is essential in their mating rituals and females and males match up after finding the perfect physical specimens around. This preference for physical displays of perfection is pretty similar to our own youth and beauty obsessed culture. Their social displays are similar to a high school dance. The dancers show off their outfits and carefully practiced moves. In the flamingo world, dancers often flag their heads, pointing their beaks upward, salute their wings, angle their heads down, and flare their wings out, twist their necks, and partially open their wings, and march in groups. These complex coordinated movements make them stand out among other bird species, and when it comes to similarities with humans, it doesn't stop there. Like a newly married couple, male and female flamingos will work together to build their nests and even take turns sitting on the eggs. If only some human couple shared the responsibility as well as them! Robin A very long time ago, we shared a similar ancestor with the robin. This was before they developed wings and flew away, and before our ancient forefathers evolved into the primates of today. Although birds seem incredibly different from us, they still have a desire to eat, drink, and be merry. They also have a strong instinctual need to sing. Traditionally, robins would follow around wild pigs as they forage through the wilderness for food. The robins would pick up whatever food they left behind. Nowadays, in populated areas, robins hang around gardens, following humans tending and planting as if we were the giant pigs of towns and cities. Surprisingly, if you were to try hard enough, you could train a robin to hang out and eat a piece of cheese on your finger. After several visits, the robin will sit still long enough to be photographed, waiting for their cheesy reward. Beyond their brain power, robins use their natural talent for entertainment too. Much like how talented human singers will easily find fans, the quality of robins' singing voices ensure they'll find a good mate. Interestingly, some robins sing before day breaks, and it's believed that they may just sing to entertain themselves, passing time before feeding can start. Howler Monkey Many scientists believe that Neanderthals and other early humans bred together to create our present-day gene pool. Although it's been hard to find scientific proof to concretely confirm this theory, researchers have started following the interbreeding of different species of howler monkeys. Black howler monkeys and mantled howler monkeys became two separate species around 300 million years in the past. But in Tabasco, Mexico, these two different forms of howler monkeys have been reproducing together for some time. After analyzing them, the scientists concluded that the offspring of these two species did not differ much in physical appearance from the form of either parent. This means that the look of a given animal is much less determined by genetic ancestry than previously thought. Regardless of family background, all howler monkeys have similarly loud shrieks and use their speaking voices to attract mates. Their bark is worse than their bite, however, as they only eat vegetation and are relatively harmless. For humans, they actually make some of the most popular primate pets. Panda while pandas don't share our unique intelligence and have a vastly different body shape and texture from our own, a couple of key panda characteristics might be closely related to our own evolution. Sure, these placental animals are well-behaved eaters, but their higher tendency towards manners in an otherwise wild animal kingdom is rooted in their main similarity to humans, their straight posture. When compared to other bears, pandas have less vertebrae which allows them to comfortably sit and stand upright. We humans have the same distinction. Much like gorillas who sit upright to help with yanking off leaves and eating bamboo shoots, it was originally thought that humans had evolved with upright spines because our ancestors swung from vines. But it's more likely that we too needed to sit upright due to the way our bodies prepared and consumed food. This evolution occurred in our own line at most 20 million years ago, but probably sooner. With a similar evolutionary change, pandas aren't that much different from ourselves, and it would be interesting to see how these creatures further evolved if they were able to gain a smarter brain in addition to a perfected body structure. Japanese Macaque Monkey The macaques generally stick to themselves in the mountains of Japan. Isolated in the Shiga Heights area of that island nation, the Japanese macaques spend their days in the cold snowy mountaintops regardless of the season thanks to their thick fur. In the 1950s, when humans started developing the highland regions, they turned the area's volcanic hot springs into a tourist destination and instituted temperature controls to make the natural pools more tolerable for visitors. The springs were apparently more tolerable for the original residents as well. Once the macaques got word of the hot pools, they decided to take a dip and started a tradition that lasts to this day, communally bathing together in the pools. It provides them with much needed relief from the harsh winter environment and also provides humans with an excellent window into their culture. 
Macaques act differently depending on the tribes they belong to, preferring different foods and mating rituals. But they all enjoy the pools, and they're all able to transfer this learned trait as a tradition between generations. They also seem to like banging stones together, almost as if it's a musical pattern that they can teach to each other. Much like humans, these macaques will continue to develop more interesting traditions as they grow and evolve. Raven when someone is called bird-brained, they aren't being given a compliment, but we should reevaluate the use of that term when considering the skills exhibited by ravens. They're smart creatures, with more than the ability to learn tricks and recognize patterns. They can make their own toys, and even show casual reasoning. Ravens themselves tend to keep to their own social groups, in which scores are settled between ravens of matching gender. Men are considered more powerful than women, and the leader of the group gets the most food. When faced with the prospect of losing their social rank, like when they're challenged by another raven and lose, these animals peck at themselves and hop around erratically, displaying high levels of stress. And when they look at another group, they can watch and relate to the inner drama going on in that other social circle, as if they're watching a television show. This kind of cognition recognition hasn't been noticed in any animals other than humans, so it's quite a find, and it shows just how exciting a future evolution could be for these brilliantly neurotic flyers. Sheep Although sheep are hairy vertebrates like us, they're not exactly the missing link in our own evolution. Our genetic blueprints diverged from them a long time ago, but surprisingly that hasn't kept there from being some flukes every now and then. For instance, a South African village was up for quite a scare when one of their sheep birthed a half-human devil lamb. With pink skin and a hairless body, the creature had a face similar to a human and hooves similar to a lamb. Rumors stated that this was the result of a meeting between a lamb and a human, or at least a secret experiment gone wrong. In actuality, this was simply a deformed baby lamb. While pregnant, the mother had been bitten by a mosquito carrying Rift Valley fever, which caused it to have a misshapen head and swelling that shaped it to resemble a human. Another instance of a Turkish baby lamb born with a very human head was also believed to be the result of a malnourished mother and not some kind of sheep-human gene splicing. That said, with sheep being the subjects of early cloning, there's no telling what kind of sheep-human hybrid could be made in the future. Looking at the similar characteristics we've developed over time helps us guess where we might be headed going forward. And in the end, it's just fun to imagine a future world with animals whose characteristics are a hodgepodge of ones we currently see around us. Thanks for watching these creatures that are evolving into humans. Come back and visit the hub soon!